WiseAgent is excited to bring another marketing tool to our platform called Digital Ads. With this new feature, it is now easier than ever to create and manage Facebook and Google ad campaigns right within your CRM. Our user-friendly dashboard takes the guesswork out of creating campaigns and allows you to get ads up and running within moments. Let's take a look at how to get started. To get started with digital ads from your WiseAgent account, you'll want to click on Integrations and then Settings. From this menu, you'll want to select Digital Ads and then click on Activate. Once activated, you'll be able to find the Digital Ads option from your marketing dropdown under Digital Ads. When you click on Digital Ads, you'll be prompted to connect your Facebook page. This page will act as the branding for your ads, so it is recommended that you connect your Facebook business page. If you do not have your own Facebook business page, you can use the Digital Ads business page for your ads instead. After connecting your page, you'll be taken to the Digital Ads dashboard where you'll be able to see the different options for ads that can be created, including listing ads, home valuation ads, agent promotion ads, and even agent recruiting ads. You'll also be able to read brief descriptions of the ad types, which will notate whether they are ads for Facebook or Google and whether they are traffic ads or lead form ads. Lead form ads will have a form built into the ad that your potential clients will be able to fill out without leaving Facebook. Traffic ads will send your potential clients to a separate link to collect contact information, such as a WiseAgent landing page or your website. You can find an FAQ on the menu under the support dropdown that will give you details about where your ads will be shown and also the questions that are included in the lead form ads by clicking here on FAQ. You can also request help by clicking on the contact support option at any time. Let's begin by selecting a blueprint to start creating our ad. We'll start with this just sold ad for seller's leads. From this page, you'll be able to see a preview of your ad as you create it and it will refresh automatically as you make changes. By clicking on Choose Listings, you'll be given a list of all the properties that you have in your property list in your WiseAgent account. You can search and filter these properties above, and then you can choose which one you'd like to make the ad for. After that, all of the information will populate into the fields automatically for that property. Below that, you can choose your linked Facebook page, and you can see where it appears here on the ad. Next, we'll choose our targeting options for where our ad will be served. You can choose your radius either from the listing location or a custom location, like a postal code or region. The next step will be to choose whether or not you will choose an audience from your CRM to target in addition to your geographic targeting. These audiences will be created from your WiseAgent contact list. You can create new audiences by narrowing down your contact list to buyers, sellers, or whatever is relevant to your ad, and then selecting the contacts that you would like to add and adding them to a Facebook audience from the Actions dropdown. You'll want to be sure to name your audience something easily identifiable for when you are selecting it in the digital ads dashboard later. It is not required to select an audience from your CRM to run your ad. You can rely solely on the geographic targeting from the listing location or a custom location. The next step for our ad is to edit the creative. We have a field for the body text, which shows up as the primary text for your ad. We also have options to further customize the text by clicking in the field and selecting placeholder text for this property. Next is the headline, which will be the boldest text on the ad. It is a good practice to not make it too long so that it gets cut off. You can preview your length and make sure that this doesn't happen. Next is the description, which will appear underneath the headline.
This text can also be cut off, so be sure to keep it short. The next option is for your ad image. The default image you have for your Wise Agent property will pull in automatically, but you can choose other images you have or upload a new image by clicking on Upload Custom Image. Next, you'll be able to choose whether or not you want to have the property status overlay, and in this case, it is just sold. If you would like to remove it, simply click on None, and your ad will refresh without it. There's also an image overlay for your agent profile picture, or you can choose to add a custom image, which could be something like your logo. If you would like to not include either of these, you would select None. Finally, you'll need to have a URL to direct your leads to when they finish filling out your lead ad form. If we hover over the tooltip here, we can see that it is recommended to send them to a site without a contact form since they have already filled one out. For traffic ads, you would want to send them to a page with, with a contact form, such as a Wise Agent landing page, to collect their information. You can preview your URL by clicking here. And when you're ready, hit next. The next step is to set your schedule and budget for your ad. To begin, you will need to choose your start and end date for your ad. Next, you will need to choose the budget for your ad. You can change the spend with the slider or by typing in a specific amount. If your budget is set to a daily spend that is less than the recommended amount for optimized ad performance, you will get a notice here. Next, you'll want to put in your payment information and name your program. The name of your program will be the source that your leads come in with, so it is important to name it something specific so you know exactly which ad the lead came in from. This will also be how you can make your lead rules to automatically send emails, text messages, and assign the lead to drip campaigns when they come into your Wise Agent account. Once you hit next, you'll be taken to the checkout and summary page for your ad. After reviewing your information, you'll then hit checkout, and then you will see that your ad is in a pending status until it has been reviewed. Your ad will likely be in a pending status for one to five minutes unless there are edits that need to be made to your ad in order for it to be approved. If that is the case, our support team will reach out to you to help you make the necessary edits to get your ad approved. You can see the status of all of your ads as well as make edits and cancel your campaign by clicking on the Programs option on the left-hand side and then selecting the program that you would like to edit. Keep in mind that programs that you edit will go back into review for final approval. You'll want to be sure to set up your lead rules within Wise Agent so that any leads coming into your CRM are automatically being responded to and put into categories, onto drip campaigns, and you and your team members are being alerted as soon as they come in. If you need any help setting up your ads or your lead rules, reach out to our support team for fast and friendly assistance. Thanks for watching.